Hi foxes and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome! You have made it to the fourth, fourth, uh, what sold video that I have started doing every Monday. So every Monday at 8 a.m. you can tune in and find out what sold for me the last week. And right now I sell on Etsy, eBay, and Poshmark and I sell a lot of vintage. Um, and vintage inspired stuff and so you can kind of see what's selling in that market and you can see my highs and you can see my lows and we'll talk about um, just how business is faring overall. So if that sounds interesting to you then stick around. Okay so a couple of things. As you're probably all getting used to by now, from this point on, the video is not edited. Uh, we are going to be going over the sales from February 1st to February 7th, and I will be looking at my phone to <laughs> find out what those sales are, and then I will pop them up on the screen so that you can kind of see what my cover shot ended up looking like, um, and I'll do my best to tell you like what I paid or... Um, if I gave shipping discounts or whatever um, but the amount that I paid is really just informative for you guys it doesn't actually um, like I don't record keep how much I pay for individual items for accounting um, so I won't get into that but um, I may not have the numbers for every single item so depending on how long I've had it I've only started tracking um, recently and I only do it to see what uh, venues of purchasing are the most profitable for me so that's really the only reason that I keep track of my cost of goods all right so February 1st okay so on Etsy I actually didn't have any sales February 1st or February 2nd sorry it's morning I gotta have my coffee um and the first thing I did sell was February 3rd and it was this daisy pin um I don't remember where I got this pin it was maybe at an estate sale or a flea market something like that but it was a 1960s daisy pin these enamel pins do really well uh, but I think that you really just have to pick ones that are in really nice condition and you have to pick ones that are a little bit like unique or fun or in a colorway that would match someone's like vintage wardrobe. So this one was kind of like a yellow and green but it had little rhinestones all in the middle of it. It was very pretty um, and it sold for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping, sales tax and they gave me five stars. They loved it. Next up, Etsy put me on some kind of like, this person sells vintage children clothes kick because I got three vintage children's kids sales in a row. And I mean, I'm not mad about it. I do sell vintage kids clothes, but um, they're usually like a lower price sales. So let's go over those. So February 3rd, I sold this 1980s little blue and white baby girls dress for $13.99. Um, buyer pay shipping. I sold this adorable little tiered floral dress from the 1970s. Um, and I was actually just looking through my shop the other day and wondering why this hadn't sold because it was so stinking cute. Um, but that did sell for $16.99 and buyer paid shipping. And then I started a sale on the weekend, so Friday to Sunday. I had 20% off in my Etsy shop and so this little Hawaiian um, style shirt sold for $8 because I had it at $9.99, sold at 20% off so it sold for $8 and it went down to Florida. That was just something that I had purchased for my kids, probably at the bins or Goodwill or something like that. Um, most of my children's clothing. I get at the Goodwill outlet, um, but I have not been to the Goodwill outlet in quite a long time, so I'm not picking up so much of it anymore. Um, it can do very, very well depending on what you have, like the little 
1950s girls dresses especially what are called like shears um, which I'll put a picture of they're basically like translucent um, those will like fly off the shelf and then there's some other like styles like 80s Oshkosh sets and stuff like that those can do really well um okay February 6th I sold these pants I was very excited to sell these pants these are a by Felicia for me um as Lori says if you as uh, surely you guys are already following Lori's Boston found but she is a seller that is um in my area and she's just like the sweetest person and she has a great channel um yeah I'll link her down below if I remember but Lori's Boston found she says bye Felicia when something has been sitting for way too long and these black velvet pants were super cool I had them dated as 70s they could have been 1960s um but they I had like terrible pictures of them for a while because they just they're black and they're velvet and they didn't lend themselves to a flat lay well at all so then I put them on my uh, full man like my full body dress form when I finally got that and that was like one of the first things I took pictures of but they didn't actually quite like fit they didn't quite zip up so I had to put a belt on them <laughs> to cover the fact that they didn't zip up all the way because they were really small um, but someone came in and bought them and they bought them on sale so it was $75 before discount and then the discount took off 15 so they sold for $60 perfectly happy with that um, buyer paid sales tax but I had free shipping on them so I did pay you know, I don't know how much was shipping probably like four four or five dollars something like that it doesn't tell me how much I paid for shipping um, and I think I picked those up at the bins but it's been so like I've had those for probably two years so I don't remember exactly this was a recent purchase um, I know that I purchased this at Savers um, and it sold to a repeat buyer and like friend of mine um, and it sold for $45.99 minus the 20%, so minus $9.20. She paid shipping and sales tax, so I was really happy to see a repeat buyer um, and friend of mine. Okay, so we have three more sales. The next one came from the big estate buy that I did. Um, these, like, quilted jackets are really having their moment um I feel like there's too much space up here I'm gonna lower this down okay so these quilted jackets are really having their moment right now um with the whole like cottagecore vibes and um let's see if that's better yeah okay so my kids are screaming bloody murder upstairs I'm sorry if you can hear that but they're just watching Nick Jr. <laughs> so I don't know what they're so upset about. Okay, so this jacket um, was French. It had a label on the inside of um, where it was manufactured, the name of it. Um, it was made out of like a cotton patchwork with like corduroy. And I just thought it was really cool. Um, it was a size small, so not exactly my size but I did model it anyway um and it sold for $128.99 minus my 20% discount which was $25.80 so it sold somewhere around $100 they paid shipping and sales tax and I um when I calculated it up not including all of the like little accessories and stuff that I bought just based on um, mostly the clothing pieces I paid somewhere around like nine to ten dollars per piece for what I picked up from um, that is estate so somewhere around ninety dollars for me which is pretty sweet this was another one from that estate I actually had to do quite a bit of spot treatment to this but most of the issues came out it was a Notori satin bed jacket. It was very like plush and soft and cozy. I had it listed for $45 because um, I mean, like I would have priced it a little higher, but I couldn't quite get out all of the stains. Um, and then they bought it on sale. So 
minus nine dollars and again I paid somewhere between nine to ten for that so I'm gonna say after fees and everything I probably made somewhere like 25 ish on that one the last Etsy item is a vintage cloison cloisonne however you say it uh, unicorn pendant necklace and I know I got this at a flea market I usually pay about a dollar for jewelry at flea markets I listed it for $32.99 sold on sale discount was six dollars and sixty cents I'm not that good at math so I'm not gonna do all that math in my head or you'll be sitting here forever okay <laughs> let's see what's sold on eBay all right, eBay, my sales sold. eBay was pretty slow. Um, I have been listing on eBay. I'm trying to list every day, but it's not going great. I mean, the listing is going fine, but the selling is not going great. All right, so I sold another one of these music booklets. Um, it was $15. This is the last of the Ovation acoustic guitar ones that I had. And then I sold this top. Someone came in and actually bought it, um, I think for a full price of $29. They just paid outright. And then they paid for shipping. So it sold for $29 and that was a uh, plus size 1x uh, rose and olive floral popover blouse. That was it for eBay. Not that exciting. Hopefully I'll have better eBay sales as I continue to list there, but I think I'm at like 130-ish items on eBay right now, so I'm just plugging along trying to list everything over there. Um, Poshmark. Poshmark. This is always a bit tricky because I have to find where I... Ooh, I'm really behind. Okay. All right. Poshmark. I had a pretty good week. Um, yeah. So the first sale on Poshmark for last week was amazing. It was this polo sport... Um, I don't know how to say this, Kaohsiun, Kaohsiun, chunky knit um, cardigan. So it was like this um, giant wool cardigan, just like oversized, chunky, and it was polo, Ralph Lauren. I actually picked this up at Savers um, many months ago, probably like three months ago. I think when I was shopping for my holiday collection, I picked it up. And um, I just, I knew it was valuable from watching Lavender Clothes line. Um, if you haven't watched any of her videos, I've actually learned quite a bit from her about just sort of things that are outside of like my normal wheelhouse, um, but she's great. So I picked this up knowing that I had something good. I figured I could sell it for probably around like 75, but when I started to do some research um, I realized that it was worth a lot more than that. So I ended up listing it for two, um, 250, I believe. And then someone came in and sent me an offer on, uh, Poshmark. I actually had it listed on Etsy, Poshmark, and eBay because it was an older, like a vintage, um, polo piece. And someone offered me 225 So I paid $10 for this, um, and my earnings after the Poshmark fees were 180. They've gotten it and left me five star feedback. So that money is in the bank. So I was pumped about that. And I seem to keep having um, like one really big sale a week that just kind of like carries the whole week for me. It'll be like an almost $200 sale. And that has actually kind of like continued. I've had some since then, which you will find out. Um, next week but yeah I'm not hating it so uh, yeah sometimes investing just a little bit more obviously ten dollars it's not like a lot to invest in something but um, just having that eye and um, yeah just having some higher priced items has really helped me so this stitch fix top someone came in and bought at a very reasonable offer it was a fortune and ivy green 
like just like career style blouse very plain um, but it was a size 1x someone offered me 28 and I accepted um, again with all my stitch fix palette stuff I paid about 550 a unit so somewhere around 18 no uh, 17 dollars for me on that one very happy with that for a basic shirt then another pair of Stitch Fix, um, or another Stitch Fix item. This was a pair of Cosmic Blue Love Wide Leg Jeans. They had a very long inseam, but they weren't like a long length. They were just a size 31, but the inseam on these, what was it? It was like 30, 31 inch inseam? 33 inch inseam, like holy cannoli. That would be dragging the floor on me. Um, yeah, those sold for $35 within a week. Someone came in and sent me an offer, uh, and I accepted. $28 minus the $550, so somewhere around like $22.50 for me. These Steve Madden B slides I sold, or I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet um, the last time that I went months ago <laughs> and those sold for $20. I probably had about a dollar fifty two dollars in them so I made about 11 on that somewhere around that. This vintage hand knit sweater I picked up at an estate sale. I went to this estate sale at like the very end and had been super picked over but it was in my area so I was like whatever I'll pop in. And this woman was like a prolific knitter and she just had all these sweaters and they were in the closet and the closets had been emptied out like people came and bought all the other stuff but all of her knits that she had made they left behind I'm assuming because they didn't have a brand or materials content but I bought all of them. Um, they gave me a good deal on everything and um, I've sold almost all of them. They're really cool. Uh, she was a very good knitter. So this sold for $36. I paid about $2 for it at the estate sale. So that left me with somewhere around $24. Then I sold this Stitch Fix dress. It was 41 Hawthorne dress and it was $30 and so that left me somewhere around like 15 or so. Um, sometimes with the basics it's just a little bit harder to move them so I really put my bank into like the florals and stuff like that like things that are really eye-catching um, but I had multiples of this dress so. Another Stitch Fix item this was a Nine Britain t-shirt I sent out 20% offers on my whole Poshmark closet on Friday morning so someone bought this um, during that sale and they bought it for $23 and again I paid about $5.50 so I made about $10 on that one. What are they doing up there? Okay February 5th so we're still on Friday because people were accepting offers and Oh, this unedited video, man. This is a long one today. Okay, so this was a tee that I had purchased on ThreadUp. I think I paid $8 for this. It was a literary style tee, and I just really loved the graphic. Um, and it had like a fox and, fox and the hound print on it, except it was within the skirts of this lady's like riding skirts, and she was on a horse, and it was just like, it had this really sweet quote inside. Um... And I just really loved it. So I listed that and it sold at the 20% off. Um, I didn't make a ton on this. I think I probably made about $9 on this after all the fees, but it sold for $23. I think they're angry their Santiago episode is done. Okay. I was actually surprised that this one sold on um, Poshmark. This was a vintage 1940s, 50s, um, like fit and flare cotton dress. I actually bought this for myself because I absolutely loved the prints, um, but I never, um, like I bought it when I was pregnant and I never got down again to the size that I could wear it. So I finally decided to let it go. 
I purchased it for way more than I would recommend anyone purchasing this type of thing for resale. I think I bought it for like 55 or 65 um, but it did sell for 118 on Poshmark uh, and I got 91.94. so I did certainly make some money on it but again um, not promoting paying that kind of price for resale. Next up was a bundle of three jewelry items. So this person must have had like Valentine's Day on the mind because they picked out this Park Lane necklace with little hearts, a pink and silvery stone necklace that I had just like price dropped for closet clear out down to $10, and a freshwater pearl and heart little necklace that I got in my Goodwill blue box. Um, and they offered me $40 for all three pieces, which I accepted. And so that left me with $33.60. And I think I paid, honestly, probably had like less than $3 into these three pieces. So about $30 in profit. So that's not bad. Next was a Stitch Fix dress. And this came from my palette. This was the dress that was in my Stitch Fix One Dress Three Ways video that I did. Uh, and someone bought it at my offer of 20% off, so $36. And after all the fees and my cost of goods, I made about $21 on that. Is the video so long? Okay. But on the bright side, it was a good week of sales, so I guess I can't complain. I was really happy that this sold because I've been getting so many low offers on it and I don't know. Sometimes when I get a lot of low offers on something, I just get really frustrated with it and it's not the item's fault. It's just, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. So anyway, this sold at $44. It was mine. Darling little 1950s shirt. Beautiful colorway, uh, perfect for fall and spring um, and even summer, but just like these nice earth tones. Um, it finally sold for $44, which was 20% off my asking price. And I made $32.74 on this top. And I do not remember where I bought it. Um, I do not remember how much I paid for it, but it was in my closet for four or five years, something like that. These shoes I purchased for my holiday lookbook. I wanted a pair of white heels to go with the different outfits. I purchased these on ThreadUp. They were a Christian Siriano white lace high heel. Um, <laughs> they were so uncomfortable. Um, but I couldn't find any others like them on line for sale and so I paid $15 for these and before you say anything um, I just bought them so that I could have them for the photo shoot um, it's not like I'm not recommending you go out and buy $15 Christian Siriano for pay less shoes to resell but they sold for $25 and I made 20 so I made $5 on them and I'm perfectly happy with that. They served their purpose and um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. All right, so now we're on February 6th on Poshmark. This anthropology dress sold for $30. I remember purchasing this at the Goodwill in um, Boston right before lockdown. So in February of last year, I paid $8 for it because all their dresses are $8 and it sold for $30. Uh, and my earnings were $24. So I think I listed this in like July, something like that. Let's find out. Oh no, I listed in November. Anyway, so yeah, that wasn't like a great pickup or anything, but it was a pretty dress. Okay, February 7th. <laughs> uh, I had a new buyer to Poshmark and she really wanted these Ruby Shoe um, heels and I had purchased these on ThreadUp. Let's see how much I paid for them. I'm sure more than I should have, but I just like to have some things. Oh, I didn't put it in. 
I think I paid like 14 for these. But I just like an aesthetic in my closet. So sometimes I'll like overpay for stuff. Oh good, it took me away. Okay. So the buyer wanted these for 34, which was my offer of 20% off. Um, and then she wanted discounted shipping. Um, but I was like, well, let's wait and see if closet clear out is tomorrow. And if it is, I'll drop the price for you and you could purchase. And she was like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, and then it was the next day. And so I did drop the price for her and she bought them. So $34 and I didn't have to pay the shipping discount. $27.20 was my earnings. I probably made like, I don't know, $12 or $13 on those. Okay. And praise everything. That was it. <laughs> so it gets really long when you sell a lot of stuff, huh? Um, yeah, so overall, I felt like it was a really good week worth of sales. I was super pumped to start the week with that uh, Polo Ralph Lauren uh, sweater sale. It really set like a good tone for me. And then I decided that I was going to go ahead and run a 20% off sale this weekend. And I had multiple sales on Etsy with that. I think six people took me up on that. And then I had a lot of people take me up on that with Poshmark. So I was um, overall just pretty happy about how the week went. Um, Poshmark has been picking up just the tiniest bit, but I mean, it's still pretty slow comparatively. So I am working on the way that I'm doing things now is I'm putting all of my vintage on Etsy first, and then I use Vendu to cross post it to um, Poshmark. And then I post all of my modern stuff on Poshmark and then I use Vindu, Vindu to cross post it to eBay. So right now I'm only listing the modern stuff on eBay and the vintage stuff on Etsy and I'm kind of seeing how that works. I know that Etsy or that eBay does have a good market for vintage buyers so I just have to kind of decide if I want the stress of having it on three marketplaces or not. Um, and so I just, I don't know yet, but um, that's what I'm doing right now. And with that, I'm going to go see what kind of havoc my children have created upstairs. And yeah. So if you have not already hit subscribe, please do so. And I will see you back here next week at 8am on Monday for my next What's Old video. Okay, bye.